So we're starting on dry paper, good to know. And they're making little peaks. Interesting. So, hmm, how to go about this, how to go about this. I'm gonna slow this video down for myself. Okay, so from what I can see, they sort of went like this. They're a little bit sharper about these edges, but that's okay. And they kind of went like this. down and they have kind of like a, a traily peaky mountain over here and then I'm gonna use the rest of this water to fill in looks like the same color as the tape it do it do be looking that same color just rewet it a bit. Bracky, you and I are opposites. I would kind of want to live in a castle just for all the space. Like, as somebody with a ton of hobbies like myself, like, I need a ton of space for all the things I want to do, for all the materials I need. Um, actually, I think I see this person sort of... Mm, I see. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit more paint here so it looks okay. They definitely made the peaks a little darker, so I'm wondering if I can do the same while it's still wet. I might not be able to, but. I'm already struggle bussing a little. Let's see. All right, now I have to wait for it to dry a little. Imagine you can use the ballroom as a VR room. Ooh, oh, I have a whole room of crafting materials and cool stuff like that. I want like desks. There, there needs to be like whole rows of 3D printers. I would I would probably love that room. I probably wouldn't just like it, Bracky. I would probably love the room. Um, I'd need a painting table, a drawing table. There'd be a table for every hobby. <laughs> That's the way I'd want to live. Okay, this is a little dry now, but let me just... I'm gonna add a second dropper of water here. Um, and I want this to be like darker, darker blue. Much darker than the blue we've been using. to darken these edges a little. Oh yeah, I am very, let's call it or unorganized. I'm doing my math exercises on my piano. See, Bracky? And if you lived in a castle, you wouldn't have to be so cramped. Besides, like you're a dragon, right? It's where you belong in a castle that you've burned away from humans. Ugly, nasty, evil humans. Um... 
<laughs> Do you not like my logic, Bracky? Do you not like it? Watercolors for the water creature. And I ironically, Opta, I'm not very good at them, but we learning. Opta, how are you? How are you doing? It's good to see you. I think I've made the mountains adequately dark. I'm just going to give it one final pass. Good night, Wearly. Bon nuit. Lugavu. <laughs> Good night, Oren. Thanks for being here. <laughs> You're great. It's so nice seeing you again. The music's so peaceful. I'm glad. Y'all let me know if you want me to change the music um, at any point. Right now. So he did this sort of technique. Where like he did like passes like this. There's no music. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's looking rough, but okay right now. It's looking okay for the best I can do. Um, let's see, let's see. I think ironically, I'm gonna have to push some of the paint up. Mm, like this. Not getting any maths done. Oh no, is the painting not helping? <laughs> is the painting not helping, Bracky? Much lighter blue for the sky. Blue for the sky. I'm just gonna leave it like this, to be honest. Okay, and so now, ow, ow, ow. 
I have to work <laughs> around my mic because it's off to <laughs> this side. It's like right here. Damn, I can't even use my fingers. It's like right here. My mic is like right here. And I have to like work around it with my brush. <laughs> ah, tiny setups. I don't think it's about the pain. I think it's about it being 12, 11 at night. Well, if I told you to go to sleep, Bracky, would you go to sleep? Would you do it? Hmm. <laughs> okay. So now it wants me to go. Hang on. Is this dark enough? Let's see. Is this dark enough? Is this dark enough? Oh yeah, that's a lot better. That should be a lot darker. So use a little more. Watercoloring seems kind of tough to be honest. It's definitely really hard. Ironically, I find it really relaxing because I know a lot of friends who've painted that really hate it because it's so out of control. Um, it's definitely not a medium that you can manipulate as easily as say, um, acrylic. Um, and for that reason, a lot of people avoid it. I think I need to wait for the paper to dry more, which is another thing that I don't do very well. I don't wait for paper to dry. For the paper for the paint to dry enough because it will really mess up the painting if you don't so we're gonna wait let me just just don't use water <laughs> Hmm, don't use water and water coloring. I think you might be onto something, Bracky. I only catch a rod stream every three, once every three months. Bracky, I'm not worth you losing sleep. I'm not worth you doing worse in school. I want you to succeed. Hi, Jinx. How are you? Good to see you. We struggling today, Jinx, but we're making it. We're doing it. We're making it work. This is my first watercolor painting in like months. So I have to like relearn every every little bit that I forgot. Every little bit that I knew before. <laughs> um, one of those being let the wait enough for the paper to dry, silly. By the way, Fen, how are you? It's good to see you. Ava, hello, I love you too. I mean, you didn't say that, Ava. You didn't say you love me, but I felt it. I felt it in your lurk emote, so I decided to say I love you too. You're chilling. You're pretty and you're chilling. But I do love you. See, I knew. I felt it. That's why I decided to say it back. I'm not losing sleep. You're rearranging. Rearranging sleep? Is that what you're saying to me? You're rearranging sleep? Come on, Rod Ross. Well, technically Bob Ross used like oil paints, I think. So definitely not Bob Ross. Oil painting is scary. English is hard. It really is. English sucks. I think it's dry enough. Nope, sure isn't. For some reason, this paper that I got is really bad quality. This is the other thing about watercoloring is that if any of your like materials are not great, it's really gonna affect the painting real bad. 
So like right now the paper isn't drying fast enough as it should be. So it's just a lot of waiting. Agreed, I like acrylics to make it better. I might honestly switch to acrylic sooner or later cause um, it looks fun to paint on a canvas. <laughs> you don't really paint on canvas with watercolor. But I love the watercolor aesthetic. I don't know if I could ever let it go. I don't know. It's just so finicky. It's so reliant on materials. There are things I love about it and things I hate. If you knew watercolors well, it's so beautiful. I know that's what I want to work towards. That's what I want to do. I want to make beauteous stuff. <sighs> One day. I think the worst part about watercolor for streaming anyway is the waiting. Because you the drawing is so important. Let me do this. Make it look a little straighter. I'm gonna have to look up a video on how to do this like gradient gradient that lots of watercolor paintings do because I don't have a good handle on it. Rod tells us they make beauty stuff. Don't lie. Don't lie, Jinx. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna wet the tip. things are slightly wet still that makes sense oh Dylan oh Dylan, you've done so many things every time I see you I learn something new about you <laughs> water color wow catchy wow how are you I'm not lying I've seen the stuff you paint and don't put online and hang in your apartment they are beauties I don't hang them in my apartment <laughs> but thank you I just fell asleep in my chair and mashed my head on my desk. I'm now awake again. Bracky, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Bracky. Bracky, go to sleep. Bracky, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Bracky. You want to sleep. Just thinking about the rod, shark. I think about catchy all the time. Just enjoy learning about stuff, so I have random knowledge on occasion. That makes sense. Kindred spirit. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna shove you into bed. <laughs> I'm gonna push you, I'm gonna push you into bed. Can I redeem a timeout Bracky for 10 minutes? Redeem, we do not timeout Bracky here, but we do push him into bed. <laughs> I seen it all. The watercolor butts you got hanging around <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> watercolor butts. Good place to be pushed, you know? I have lots of practice. Let me see what's next on this painting.
Oh, they have a third mountain range. I see, I see. Well, now we definitely have to wait for this to dry. Pushing people into bed equal fun. We should do it sometime, Opta. Imagine the gigantic bed you could have in a castle. I imagine it all the time, Bracky. All the time. A full room with a gigantic bed and all the plushies in the world. All the plushies, plenty of room for cuddles with friends. Like, the possibilities are endless. Instead of an Alaskan king bed so I don't hang off the end of the mattress. I, something tells me your body would find a way to still hang you off the end of the mattress. Jinx. Imagine making a blanket for it and pushing someone into that. It would be amazing. That sounds like so much fun. The possibilities are endless. Well done, Kachiwa. Good that I don't have real life friends, so I don't need any space. <laughs> Always looking on the positive side. You don't have any real life friends? Good. You don't need any space. If my feet don't hang off yet, oh my gosh, Jinx, you're too tall for your bed. Real life friends give hugs. I don't know, Opta, you've never proved that to me. Fan freak, fan freak, how are you? Let me fan this. I'm gonna fan my piece. You're Link. <laughs> Not to be confused with Link. Or Lynx Minx. Just getting my AC Island semi-presentable before the big update. Oh my God. The way that I thought you said, the way that I thought you said air conditioner island. Fan freak. I'm like, we are fully in fall right now. It is a full 65 degrees outside for me. And that's like as warm as it's going to get over the next few hours. And you are out here being like, just getting my air conditioner island presentable. And I'm like, what is an air conditioner island? What is that? <laughs> Animal Crossing. You're saying Animal Crossing. Yes, because I want an ice cube house, right? Look, I'm a person who likes very cold temperatures. Like, I would love an ice cube house. Especially for baking, there's so many fucking pastries where you have to work fast because you can't let the butter melt because the butter has to be cold. Do you know how frustrating that is? Scones. Like, I can't even try and make um, croissants for that reason because all the butter would melt. It's 40 degrees Celsius for you right now. Oh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool temps for cuddling because my feet get too cold. <laughs> 40 degrees is a nice temperature. I enjoy it. Ugh, it's still glossy. It still needs to dry, y'all. Why is she like this? Why is she doing me like this? She's still wet. She's still wet. Gonna have to get a new plan. New, I have to, I'm gonna have to think out watercoloring more specifically for next stream. <laughs> Fiend fresh. <laughs> Is that supposed to represent the cool air? I love it. This person in this video is being so meticulous with like this blue forest that they're making at the bottom of this piece. And I'm gonna fuck this up so bad. <laughs> Forests are just, we don't get along. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for it now. It looks dry enough. Just gonna dry a little more.
I actually kind of like that. Hold on. I'm so much better at making landscapes than I am at anything else that doesn't... That still doesn't mean I'm good, though. <laughs> I better see a beautiful picture when I wake up. No promises, Bracky. <laughs> but I'm glad you're going to bed. Thanks for being here. Thanks for chatting. It's always nice seeing you both in your stream and here. You know that. Good luck with your maths and your uni. Let's go with it for forest. It's not like they have to be neat, you know? That's what I'm saying. Darius, what are you excited for? First of all, how are you? How are you doing? But why are you excited? Tell me. Let me know. Nice. My new model debut is next week in the VR Con Ferality is next week too. Oh my gosh, are you gonna be there? Also, your new model, is it still a snap? I see you being different animals on stream lately. Hello, Darius over here too. I, I guess you and Ketchy are like frequenting the same stream as Darius. Yes, it's still a snap, good. Where's my dropper? Okay, here it is. Here it is. Oops. Let me just do some of this. Never know how to leave well enough alone. I'm glad you're getting a new model that you're excited for, Darius. Is it 3D or 2D? It's a 3D model.
have a smaller brush than this? I felt like I got three brushes, but now I can only see. Ah, uh, here we go. So I'm gonna wet this. Where the fuck did I put that? Yeah, I mean, like, given <laughs> given how small that my work table is right now, like, I'm like, where is everything? Where did I decide to put everything? Okay. Let me see. Is this okay? a little bit of that bleed out bloom sort of effect which I don't really want the fact that it's still so wet after all this time is so annoying Gotta wait. Shadow, how are you? Hello. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Doing okay, good to hear, good to hear. Oh my gosh, I'm getting flirts over Telegram. Shadow, thanks. I'm thinking it looks like a huge mess, but then again, this is pretty good for the fact that I haven't painted in like months, in my opinion. <laughs> Fen, I saw that. I saw that telegram. Did they call you Nalgon too? They did not, Remus. That's that's a you. That's only you. Only you called me Nalgon. Rod, that was just between us. <laughs> I mean, I didn't tell him what you say it. Woo. Flirts. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. I enjoy receiving flirts from all of you. Wow, you're getting flirted and I know, right, Catchy? 
Can you imagine? By whom? Whomst? Whomst would flirt with me? You have not gone right. <laughs> Imagine flirting with Rod. Imagine, imagine, never, never. Okay, buddy, are you dry enough now? Are you dry enough? If I do another watercolor stream in the future, I'm gonna have to come up with something to do <laughs> while I wait for it to dry, because it takes its sweet time. Hmm. still wet over here. Do you see this? It's so annoying. It's definitely possible, but all that matters is how, how This isn't looking too bad. I hate this area. I hate this area a lot because it just won't stop being wet, but otherwise, I don't hate it. Drenching our collective canvasy, uh, canvasy. It was on fire and had to put out. <laughs> you know, it does look like it was on fire. This bus is on fire, fire, fire. I wonder if I did this. Does that help? Mm, not quite. Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so glad I can convey song here. Are there places you can't? Shrugs. Fair enough, fair enough. So much watercoloring I need to do. So much better I need to get. Mugh. Can't rush these things though. Are you dry now? Not really. I did pass over it, so that, that makes sense. But I didn't expect it to be as wet as it is. Hello? Wait, you have hands? <laughs> yes, I have hands. Ah! <laughs> Hands with really bad eczema at the moment. Well, not really bad. This is definitely not the worst I've had it, but all the stress has given me flare-ups. So I'm trying my best not to show them on stream. Oh my gosh, how is it all wet? Why won't you dry? You know what, while this dries and while we wait to fix it up, I have an idea. The final part of this painting is supposed to have birds and they use black ink, but we're just gonna use pen. So I is acting up from trust too, yep. So. I'm living in a world of itch, itch and blood right now, TMI, but. Hydrate Darkon. Thank you. My Hydro Blast. Let's see. Let's see. It's like a bird over here. It looks kind of like this.
<laughs> and I oop, and I oop. Very that hydro flask energy. Hmm. You know, thankfully the birds aren't coming out too bad. These could be a lot worse for what they are. <laughs> oh, the birds be cute. Thank you. I think if I can practice doing this gradient effect enough, I can come back to this painting and get a lot better at it. Somebody like DM me on Discord and tell me that <laughs> while I was streaming, I thought that if I practice gradients in watercolor enough, it would be good for me. Honestly, this uh, the, like the gradient effect itself is used a lot in watercolor paintings, so it would probably behoove me. Pain all over my hand. Can't believe it's still wet. I'm becoming a literal sugar, but you're a shark. How can you be hooved? <laughs> It would behoove me. You know, my horse friends taught me that word. Okay. The birds don't look too bad. I'm okay with them. It almost looks like they're circling this mountain peak. Which is not the intention of the original picture, but we're using it. We're going with it. Okay. Oh no, my psoriasis. Awful splayish. If I layer it like this, maybe it would make it look more foresty. The other part of watercolor in layers. Xerox, how are you? It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. For watching me struggle with watercolor. Um. Oop. Not more telegrams.
Yeah, that worked out not too bad. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised. Monte Carlo takes a lot of patience. Yep, that's what everyone tells me, and that's what I've learned myself. Hi, Bosk. Don't look. It's me at my worst. Watercolor. The thing I'm worst at. The thing I'm newest to. Don't say it looks wonderful. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, boss. It's not healthy. It's not healthy layers like onions i'm not <laughs> it's not healthy to lie to friends boss it's not healthy mm. that looks really nice and serene oh well thank you Luckily, I think it's pretty much finished. At least like, so I'm going off of a YouTube video. Um, they stopped around here. I think if I keep adding to it, I'm gonna screw it up. <laughs> so I'm gonna call it good. Bosk, opinion. Does this look like a forest? Does this bottom layer look at all foresty? Does that translate? I know if the tool too that can be helpful with the drawing process. Oh my God, Xerox, I would love to learn. I would love to hear about it. Okay, good. I saw it as a forest right away. Okay, well, I'm glad. <laughs> I think what might be helpful for me is like learning gradients and then learning how to make individual trees and then trying this painting again and seeing how much I improve. I think that would be fun. Fun, excuse me. Um, a fun video series idea like next like maybe tomorrow I can try learning gradients and then the day after um, or no gradients and trees and then the day after oh maybe some clouds oh my gosh y'all so Hawk Hawk's currently in the bathroom so he can't stop me but Hawk is an incredible artist and he like because he has ADHD and he struggles with like remaining interested in dedicated with doing stuff he hasn't painted in a while but let me show you these clouds this boy did this boy followed like a cloud tutorial and they came out so amazing hold on look at these clouds that hawk made <gasps> loki thank you for the resub nine months look at these clouds that hawk made hawk made all four of these I honestly think they're like so amazing <laughs> and I'm like and and like he hasn't painted since it's been like two or three months since he's made these I'm like oh like I really I'm like you're so skilled I wish I could I'm like trying so hard to catch up to him and everything those are amazing everybody DM if you have Hawks telegram or discord just dm him and tell him he had he made amazing clouds i really want to see how confused he gets but here's something i made a while back it was a super small pic uh painting i experimented with like these like very pastel-y cloud looking sky i really liked it hog i don't know you have a nice class <laughs> all the memories are doing watercolor coming back to me you did watercolor before zero i 
I did this one. What other ones can I show you? There's like so many different seasons or days. It does. For school? Wait, what kind of school did you go to? Are you doing well? I'm doing great, Loki. Thanks for asking. Okay, I'm gonna show you all the other four watercolor paintings I've ever done. All of them were following YouTube videos. Cause I like doing that, it's how I relax. <gasps> thank you for gifting a sub to Okar, Loki, thank you. <laughs> Hawk is now informed his clouds are bussin', jinx, thank you. You majored in fine art, what? That's amazing, okay, so here's one. So I made this. Um, it was like a farmland sort of savanna looking area with a lot of sky. I might try this again. Um, um, again, this came from a YouTube video. <laughs> I just like following videos. I don't know what to say, but yeah, this came out really nice. For some reason, the way the paint dried on this made it look very cloud-like, which I really enjoyed. Um, it looks kind of, it looks kind of peaceful. That looks like my area. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> oh my God. Um, this is another one. This is probably the best one I've ever made. Um, this like purple mountain by a lake is really hard. I really struggled. This line was not intentional. <laughs> this line was like me trying so hard to keep the two from blending because it was so wet. <laughs> um, but like there was like this little hint of like a sunset here that I really liked. Um, yeah, I really like this one. It was like the hardest one. Um, I think the first watercolor I've ever made was this one. Um, it's very similar in blue concept to um, the painting I just did. And as you can see, there's like a forest here at the bottom that like I think I got better at doing. The color correction on my camera sucks. I'm gonna need a new webcam. Um, but like I tried making this like little starry sort of moon thing up here. Um, and then the last one I did was this one. Um, I thought it was like really strange. Um, I couldn't get these colors to blend like they should have. Um, but it ends up kind of looking like something like out of a dream with this little boat. <laughs> There's supposed to be a boat and this is supposed to be a lake. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what this part's supposed to be. <laughs> I kind of forget. I think it's supposed to be a reflection, but I screwed it up. I should try this one again. The gradient of the water looks great. Yeah, I was like really, I for some reason really understood it here, or at least understood it more than um, I did before, but um, it was like, but I really like the colors, <laughs> the red and oranges and pink. It was like really cool. Um, and then I guess the only other, the very last watercolor painting I made before this one today was, um, it was one I made for like a course I was taking on Skillshare. Um, it was supposed to be of a door and like of a brick door, well not a brick door, a door in like a brick wall. Um, this was really hard. <laughs> um, and there's like. I kind of gave up on the wall and just like use different brush strokes <laughs> to make them look like brick. Um, Hawk said it looked really good and I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> um, but I really struggled with this one, but yeah, that was the last one I made. And then this is today's. So maybe there's like gradual progress happening. Um, but I think I know now that I should practice gradient some more and then retry. Ooh, thank you for the hydrate. Also, I didn't realize the chat box was so tiny. Let me just, okay.
But yeah, look forward to more watercolors, I guess, because I have to get a lot better. <clears throat> also, art looks good. Don't say otherwise. <laughs> okay, Loki, I won't say it looks bad. Fine. Now for the scary part. Nobody look at how uneven this line is. <laughs> 